What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Gabia. In today's lesson, we're going to expand your vocabulary by learning 10 advanced personality adjectives. Are you ready? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off. And before we start, I'd like to give you the correct answer to the bonus question I asked you in the previous video, in the proficiency quiz. And the question was, can you call to option A, head, option B, mind, who directed this movie? The correct answer is option B. Can you call to mind who directed this movie. So, to call to mind means to remember something. And it can be also to call something or someone to mind, which means to cause something or someone to be remembered. For example, this perfume calls my holidays in the Ukraine to mind which means that whenever I wear this perfume, I remember my holidays in the Ukraine. True story. So first, we're going to look at three negative adjectives and then at seven positive ones. So the first C2 adjective on my list today is cunning. Cunning. Cunning people are those who are determined to get what they want, especially by tricking and deceiving someone. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, he's so cunning that he'll try to get what he wants at all costs. He's so cunning that he'll try to get what he wants at all costs. And one more example, I wouldn't trust this cunning guy. I wouldn't trust this cunning guy. Okay, let's move on to our second negative personality adjective, which is obnoxious. Obnoxious. It's a very unpleasant and rude person. And now a few examples. The first one, I hope not to see him ever again. He's the most obnoxious person I've ever met. I hope not to see him ever again. He's the most obnoxious person I've ever met. And one more example. She's fed up with her obnoxious boss. She's fed up with her obnoxious boss. Okay, let's move on to our third adjective, which is vain. Vain. Be careful with the pronunciation of this word is v vain and not vain, vain, vain. So a vain person is someone who is too interested in their appearance, abilities or achievements. And now two examples. The first one, it takes her ages to get ready. She's so vain. It takes her ages to get ready. She is so vain. And one more example. She is so vain, she wouldn't leave the house without doing her hair and her makeup. She is so vain, she wouldn't leave the house without doing her hair and her makeup. And you, are you vain? And now let's look on the bright side. We're going to learn seven positive personality traits. Number four, assertive. Assertive. An assertive person is a confident person who is sure of their abilities, feelings and opinions. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I was amazed at her assertive behavior in the meeting. I was amazed at her assertive behavior in the meeting. And one more example, she's an assertive entrepreneur. 
She's an assertive entrepreneur. Now let's move on to our fifth positive adjective, which is conscientious. Conscientious. It's someone who takes care to do things carefully and correctly. And now, two examples. The first one, she has a reputation for being a conscientious secretary. She has a reputation for being a conscientious secretary. And one more example, Rebecca is very conscientious and oftentimes takes work home. Rebecca is very conscientious and oftentimes takes work home. Let's continue number six, down to earth. Down to earth. It's someone relaxed, chill, relatable, approachable and friendly. So it's a very pleasant person to be with. And now two examples. The first one, I thought the guy would be smug, but he turned out to be quite down to earth. I thought the guy would be smug, but he turned out to be quite down to earth. Smug is another advanced adjective, which means someone self satisfied and proud of what they have, their achievements or their luck. And one more example, I thought Mario Casas was superficial, but when I met him, he was so down to earth. I thought Mario Casas was superficial, but when I met him, he was so down to earth. Number seven, hospitable. Hospitable. Be careful, it's not hospitable, but hospitable. The stress goes on P. Hospitable. So we use this adjective to describe pleasant and friendly people who make you feel welcome and like you are at home. And now a few examples. The first one, they were very hospitable and made me feel at home. They were very hospitable and made me feel at home. And one more example, I found Indonesian people very hospitable. I found Indonesian people very hospitable. Let's continue number eight, laid back. Laid back. We use this adjective to describe calm and relaxed people who seem not to worry about anything. I reckon it's such a great personality trait and I wish I had more of it. And now a few examples. The first one, I like laid back people because it's so easy to deal with them. I like laid back people because it's so easy to deal with them. And one more example, laid back people are usually happier and healthier in comparison with those who tend to worry about everything. Laid back people are usually happier and healthier in comparison with those who tend to worry about everything. Tomorrow to go, number nine, self-assured. Self-assured. A self-assured person is someone confident who is sure of their abilities and value. It's a synonym of assertive, the adjective that we have seen previously. And now, two examples. The first one, she's become self-assured with age. She's become self-assured with age. And one more example, she's a self-assured young chess player. She's a self-assured young chess player. And last but not least, well-balanced. Well-balanced. It's a calm and sensible person who doesn't get carried away by emotions. And now a few examples. The first one, I've never seen him lose his temper. He's so well-balanced. I've never seen him lose his temper. He's so well-balanced. 
And one more example, I find her well-balanced personality very calming. I find her well-balanced personality very calming. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, found it useful and learned a few new personality adjectives. If there is an adjective that could apply to you or someone you know, please write a simple sentence and leave it in the comments below and I'll check it for you. And guys, if you want to learn more advanced personality adjectives, check out the previous editions right here. And of course, if you found this lesson useful, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram and do my daily quiz. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!